hours and two minutes. Mr. Invincible keeps the dream alive of winning three Australian Opens in a row for the first time in the Open era. Tests don't get any sterner than that in the fourth round. He came of age, Vavrinka. The next thing he has to endure is not Thomas Burdick, it's an on-court interview with Jim Courier. That could really finish him off. Well, <laughs> yeah. well we, we were debating the fact that when Djokovic was missing some forehands, it hadn't been a conversation with Jim Courier, where Jim was asking him what he'd done with his forehand and how he hit it. And yeah. He thought, oh dear, he's got all self-conscious about it. Well, well that was no. our own Matt Svilander who did that to him in studio, so don't blame everything on Oh, Jim. yeah. Oh, no, no, you're right. <laughs> But uh, Burdick will be delighted uh, t that uh, he's had such a tough, tough match. This is reminiscent of last year's final when he ripped off his shirt to win that epic against Nadal. I mean, you know, it just shows you what it means to these guys. Mm. Well, he was really up against it, Djokovic, wasn't he? And uh, one has to feel really sorry for Vavrinka, who may never get closer. He worked so, so hard. So... Is Jim making his way? Uh, I think Novak's going over there. He's been putting off, it off for as long as he possibly can, I think. Well, he, he handed away those shoes, which he didn't like. At 2-1, the second set, he changed. And he he's nope. giving away all the content. Oh, here he is. Here we go. He can't get away from Jim. Let's listen in. He'll be no, I think I can safely speak for everyone here in the building when we say that was a real privilege to watch. How did you get through this match in the end? Uh... Well, it's, it's really hard to find the words to describe uh, the feeling that we had uh, tonight, especially in the fifth set. Um, he deserved it equally to, uh, to be a winner of this match. I give him... Uh, <laughs> I give him a lot of credit. He has uh, my all respect, especially tonight. Uh, he, he showed his qualities and he was the aggressive player on the court. I was just uh, trying to hang in there, trying to fight and, and you know, give the last drop of energy. And uh, it means this, it, this match means a lot to me and to him, obviously, going into five, five hours. And uh, it's just incredible that almost two in the morning and so many people stayed to watch. So it brings. It, it brings back the memories from 12 months ago, definitely, with, uh, with Rafa. And, uh, I mean, you guys really deserve all the love. And uh, thank you for your appreciation. And thank you for staying this late. And, uh, you know, you made this, uh, this match very special. And, uh, you know, I didn't expect this many people to stay this, this long. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed as much as we did on the court. Well, absolutely sensational. Well